Hello and welcome to my Demon Faction Guide. This guide will hopefully tell you all that you need to know about the Demon Faction, including all weaknesses, resistances and attack patterns. First up, Shades. Shades are fast moving melee creatures that deal proportionally heavy damage when compared to other factions. They have no elemental resistances or weaknesses, as well as not having any immunities. Wraiths come in four different forms. Their basic and most common form is when they are green in colour. While in this form, wraiths have immunities to poison and all physical effects such as knockdowns. Wraiths also take elemental forms similar to mages and spellbinders. Ice wraiths become vulnerable to fire and resistant to ice. Fire wraiths become vulnerable to ice and resistant to fire. Lightning wraiths become resistant to electricity only. Wraiths deal elemental damage depending on what form they are in, with their basic form dealing spirit damage. Wraiths can also self-generate a barrier. Unlike other enemy barriers, wraiths do not gain any other additional attributes other than just the extra layer of protection. Terrors are demons which are vulnerable to spirit damage and they cannot be panicked. They can teleport across the map, appearing underneath you to knock you down. They can also do an area of effect scream, which slows all players in its radius and will knock you down on its third pulse. Other than this, terrors can only melee you. Rage demons are large melee creatures which are vulnerable to cold damage but resistant to fire. However, they can summon a barrier which brings a large array of immunities with it. While this barrier is up, rage demons cannot be paralysed, taunted, panicked, put to sleep, or affected by any physical effects. Despair demons are really fucking annoying little shits who are resistant to cold damage, vulnerable to fire, and cannot be frozen. They are also immune to being put to sleep. Despair demons can also summon a barrier, which doesn't provide any other stats other than just being obnoxiously strong. They're ranged units which throw ice at you primarily. They do have an ice beam which deals continuous cold damage to anyone hit by it, and they can also summon ice underneath the player, which knocks them down. Despair demons can also evade melee characters when they get into too close a range by floating away when they get too close. Basically, they're really fucking annoying. Fear demons are pretty unique enemies. They're the only enemy in the game which has two elemental vulnerabilities, lightning and spirit. They also cannot be put to sleep, frozen, or panicked. Fear demons can slow you down by summoning spiders around your feet and can move erratically in a semi-stealth state which prevents players from targeting it. Their only form of attack is a melee, but this is strong and fear demons do have a pretty big lunge as well, so this isn't a weak attack by any means. Another unique trait is that fear demons can summon fearlings. Fearlings are small spiders which spit webs at you, slowing you down. They have extremely low health, so this shouldn't really matter, but they're vulnerable to spirit damage and they also cannot be panicked. Pride demons are large, slow units which have a variety of electrical melee and ranged attacks. They are resistant to electricity, but they have no vulnerabilities. They are immune to being frozen, paralysed, and put to sleep, as well as all physical effects. Pride demons can self-generate guard when they do their best Dr. Evil impression. However, other than just a layer of protection, this doesn't grant any additional attributes. Pride demons have a primarily melee attack, but they can also attack from range by generating a ball of lightning and throwing it at you. Lastly, the Demon Commander. The Demon Commander cannot be disabled by anything in the game. No stuns, no sleep, no panic, no freeze, nothing. He is also perceptive, meaning that he will decloak players in stealth who are close to him after a few seconds. His attack pattern is as follows. DC will go underground, similar to a terror, and then he'll pop up underneath a player, knocking them down. This attack was once devastating, but has since been nerfed, and also can be countered by a spirit resistance tonic, whereas previously it was a physical attack, so it had no in-game counter other than just evading it. Fortunately, the player targeted is warned via a green smoke, so they can anticipate this attack. If the commander hits you with his ambush, then he'll more than likely use his scream attack to follow up. This is similar to the Terror's equivalent, but it's much faster and it panics the player as opposed to knocking them down. After this scream attack, DC will go underground again and then pop up in another location and attack from range. 
Assuming someone in your party has a spirit resistance tonic, you should be pretty safe from all of his attacks. Just try not to get juggled between him and the terrors. This concludes my demon faction guide. I hope this is of use to some of you guys, and thanks for watching. Goodbye.